All right, guys. Bill, I'm here back with more Yakuza 5. It's uh, 11:38 right now, but we're gonna continue on in the morning. Um, yeah. Uh, got up relatively early today. To be honest, probably could have started recording a good chunk earlier. Um, had like some other stuff came up. Uh, wait. Oh, are we supposed to be going there? Are we supposed to be going? Um. So I talked about this before, how there was a job that uh, a family member was trying to get me. Um, and, uh, oh wait, want some spent. Oh, we're stop it. Pull it. Okay, so we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. Um, so had to deal with that today, uh, this morning, for like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, so, uh, got that set up. Hopefully I get an interview and then be on that, whatever. Um, so that happened. Um, also, there's another thing. Well, I, mean, I guess that's not important. Yeah, sure. But anyway, like, I mean, that. Yeah, uh, yeah I got up a decent time ago, but just, just didn't get around the recording until now. I don't really have anything going on. Uh, I mean, unless, like, something comes up with the job thing. Uh, today, which I doubt it will, um, from this point forward, we'll see, though, um, but more than likely, um, prepared for the kidnapping. Wait, where are we again? We are here, okay. So, we want to turn around. Okay, I mean, okay. So, um, fuck off, I hate this. Yeah, because this guy definitely looks like a Yakuza um, ever, but whatever. Actually, when you think about it, Yakuza is kind of a weird name for this series, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's as if, like, like they would, like, if there was an American fucking franchise named Mob or, like, Gang. <laughs> like, it's just kind of bizarre, isn't it? Um, like, obviously, because, like... Obviously in Japan it's not called Yakuza. Like in Japan it's called like a dragon or Ryu go I forgot the last term, but whatever. Yeah, you get the point. Um, um, but even then, to be fair, that's also kind of like a weird name too. Um, man, I don't know, what would you call this though? I guess Yakuza feels right. From an American standpoint, but again, from a Japanese standpoint, I don't know. Ooh, Toughness Emperor. Okay, so we'll exchange Toughness Z. Um, but yeah, so I mean, uh, that's that. Um, so last night before I went to sleep, kind of got caught up in this rabbit hole of, uh, I just ended up like, I forgot what, like, I think I just saw something on my recommended on YouTube or something, and it led to me, um, oh, that's what it was, it was, um, I, like, for some reason on my recommended on YouTube, it was, uh, the Beast Morph, Power Rangers Beast Morphers trailer that had, uh, Austin St. John in it, um, and that kind of led me to this rabbit hole of, like, looking up Team Up episodes of Power Rangers, so I was just, like, looking at, like, the morphing sequences and stuff like that, um, and when doing that, I kind of realized I forgot a pretty major video on the scheduling for 2022. Um, like a video that I definitely will do, and that's uh, a retrospective of Forever Red. Um, I, I completely forgot about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I put that on the schedule uh, this morning as well. Um, which per it actually lines up perfectly. Like, um, the 20th anniversary is a Wednesday. <laughs> So it's like, it works out perfectly. Uh, it's October 5th, 2022, which is obviously like a year and fucking eight months from now. But, uh, it's so obviously it put it on the schedule. So that was something I forgot about. I really would like to do more Power Ranger videos at some point. It's just I don't have the time right now. And there's other, like, obviously bigger priorities. But, like, I, I've talked about this. Like, I, um, like I want to do, like, a ranking of, like, the team up episodes. Um, okay, so we're just heading back. Okay, um, I'd like to do, yeah, ranking of the team up episodes, I'd like to do probably like a Red Ranger ranking, and then I would have, I, obviously I'll do a season ranking at some point, but I would have to, re I would have to watch all the modern 
seasons because I haven't watched since uh, halfway through Ninja Steel. <laughs> so it's like it's quite a bit I haven't watched at this point. It's like what well, all Super Ninja Steel, you got Beast Morphers, um, seasons one and there's two, right? Two seasons of Beast Morphers, and then um, which I mean by the way, like if I am gonna rank the season, I'm gonna mix Samurai and Super Samurai, and then mix Mega Force and Super Mega Force that sort of stuff. Um, like I'm not gonna bother fucking talking about stuff really. Um, because like for the most part they're the same. I think Mega Force and Super Mega Force are probably the most different, but even then they're the same, though, aren't they? Um, it's so bizarre what they fucking did with Super Mega Force. Um, He's like, you got Mega Force, you got Dino Charge, you got Ninja Steel, you have Beast Morphers, all of them have two seasons, but they use the same Sentai series. Um, but with Mega Force, they fucking decide to use two <laughs> and mix Mega Force, or mix fucking Ghost Ager and Go and it's just fucking bizarre. And, it, and it, like, it's like a cool concept, but they just don't execute it well because you can clearly tell they don't give a shit at that point. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it's just, ah, oh, it's such a shame. It could have been really great, but they just, just made it fucking shit. Uh, um, I love the Ray of Power Ranger season, by the way. I mean, like, I've written fanfiction when I was a kid and stuff. But I'm 100% sure I could write a better fucking Power Ranger season than them. Um, or at least, I mean, to be fair, I haven't watched the modern ones. I don't know how those are. But, uh... Yeah. yeah um, also, uh... What else do I want to talk about? I mean, plans for today are still about the same... Okay. Um, rest for tomorrow. Oh, hello, Gozai Mas, Haniki. Oh, Kaite Tanya. Um, I believe YouTube is fine. Yeah, I mean, the winter ranking is still getting views. It's gonna pass 5,000, so at least there's not easily past 5,000. I've got 10,000 to go, but it's like, it's just not gonna reach, but uh, at least it reached 5,000. That was a worrying thing uh, earlier. It's 1,000 views ahead of my what if video at this point. Actually, I believe it's. I believe it's even has more views than the what if video does now. Uh, um, I believe if this thing would fucking load. Okay, it won't load. Cool. Um, what are we doing? Alright. Hopefully we can finish uh, Sage and story here because I really want to be done with this fucking shit. Okay, there we go. Um, where's the what if video anyway? It's probably a ways back. Fuck. This thing won't load. Um, oh wait, is it just, wait, what? Oh, do I just talk to him? I guess I just talk to him? I really hate it when the game does that. Like, puts you in the game just for you to talk to them. Like, it doesn't tell you that you're supposed to just talk to them. Okay, all done. We've already done this. My Go Kaiju video is at 350 views. It's pretty good, actually. It's over 100 views ahead of my fucking Hitman video. Actually, what the fuck? It's getting more views in the recent days. That's cool. Is. Um, what was the other thing I was going to look up? Wait, what if video? Yeah, what if it is at 4,494 views? Actually, my um, my up rank is about the pass it. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so my winner ranking is like literally like less than 10 views away from from passing it. 
that's cool. Um, why does that sound like a Rushihara? <laughs> Whatever. Um, oh my god, the fucking app is so slow to run out. I don't know why. <laughs> あばしりから出てきたって聞いた時は耳を疑ったがどうやら伝説のああ。今何時か聞いとんのえ。11時半過ぎだ。そうか。Um, interesting so Joe Rapper is saying that he's predicting the uh, Far Cry 6 will come out in May. Which obviously this is like I mean obviously he's not like a like Yeah. Technically like, doesn't have more information than this, but, yeah, he has, uh, yeah. In with Ubisoft, so maybe he doesn't know. I mean, like, w they have said that's coming out before September. So at least there's that. Like, it's coming out within uh, the middle quarter of the year. So it's like. I don't know. Because again, like, I have my video, my Far Cry video scheduled for April, end of April. Because again, there were rumors earlier in the year, or maybe it was even last year, that it, got the, that it was being delayed till at least May. So I delayed the video to April, um, but we're st we still have no news right now. That's what's so fucking frustrating about right now with my schedule for my other channel is that like there's so many videos that are like are dependent on other things, but some for some fucking reason no fucking company is like announcing their shit, like their release dates. Uh, like we still haven't gotten a premiere date on Big Bird Canada. We haven't gotten any fucking news on Celebrity Circle. Um, we still don't know again Far Cry. We don't know um, Valhalla DLC. Dang, I'm too fair to Valhalla DLC. Like I'm the DLC for um, Assassin's Creed's always been like that. Like it was the same way for Odyssey. It was the same way for um, for Origins, where like they would announce like a quarter, but they wouldn't actually, or like a like general range, but they wouldn't like t say specifically. Like I, I believe um, Wrath of the Druids, they've said spring. Uh, and I believe, actually, I think did they say early spring? I don't remember. But then they said uh, summer for uh, Paris, siege of Paris. Wait, what? Oh, did I fail? Oh. <sighs> okay. Oh, fuck off! I do the fight again. What well, shit? Um, yeah, so like there's a lot of like things on the schedule like within the next like two months that I just don't know what to do with right now um, Like even next Wednesday, I believe is when the Big Brother Canada um, Video is scheduled and it's like what the fuck do I do with that? <laughs> At this point, it's like I'm like if worse comes to worst, if I do have to switch it out I'm just gonna switch it out with the Australian survivor runner-up ranking Um But, and we'll see. Hopefully we get stuff this week. That would be the ideal. Um,
I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I've got an update from the job thing. But, um... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That's what we were supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. Definitely using footage of this. Outfit then. Whatever. Fuck it. We'll fight them again. Uh, yeah, that's dumb though. <sighs> yeah. So um. So, where's it again? It's he no, not there. He no, here? Nope. Where the fuck is it then? I don't remember. Oh, it's just here. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck. Uh, no, where is it? I I'm a fucking idiot. Like. Oh, it is here. Why was that blocked off a second ago? Whatever. I mean, uh, I think for the most part, that's about it I have to talk about. Yeah, this week, um, the river raids are coming out <laughs> for Valhalla. Couldn't give a shit. Um, to be honest, I might actually go ahead. I think once we finish Yakuza 6, and if it's not time for, like, the whatever the fuck that bullshit was it called uh wrath of the druids if that's not out yet uh we might actually still play some bahala like bahala for a second to uh um to do the uh the beowulf quest because i did buy the season pass uh since i last recorded And, uh... Oh, is that what went wrong? Was it going the wrong way? I was going the wrong way. Respond to the text of the same thing here. Wait, let's just pause this for. Okay, can you not? Thank you. My fucking phone is spazzing the fuck out. Okay. We're good. But yeah, so, um. I'm trying to think. Um, what else they're talking about? Oh, yeah, that's something I want. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Lasers, uh. So he announced. I saw he announced on Twitter that he's doing a. He's redoing. Um, his um, Assassin's Creed rankings with Valhalla, and to be honest, that's something I've been kind of thinking about. Is like, is it worth redoing that video? Because I really would want to. Like, I really want to. It's just that there's no room in the schedule for it, like anytime soon. Um, I think what I might do is wait. Ah, fuck off, dude. I don't know. Like, because like, I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind also redoing my uh, DLC ranking as well. Just because, like, to be honest, I mean, uh, my DLC ranking at this point, I feel like is severely outdated. Um, like, I mean, I think the top is still the same, but I think, like, I would definitely fucking put Fate of Atlantis at the bottom at this point. Because, like, at the time that I made it, it was, like, immediately after Fate of Atlantis. And, like, I was kind of, like, 
I, kind of, I found it funny how bad it was. So, like, I kind of put it higher because of that. But I think at this point, like, it's, it's straight up bad. Like, it's not even funny bad. Like, it's literally just fucking bad. Um... Again, like, as much as I don't like, like, I like to see the first plate as well, like, at least like to see the first plate, I think, has a solid villain, has a, um, s somewhat decent narrative between Amorgus and Darius, um, like, even though the gameplay of it is complete shit, and there's dumb fucking, um, stuff that contradicts AC lore and all that stuff, but it's like, um, Fuck off, dude. Alright. Can you fucking not, please? So, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about redoing those videos. The problem is, again, it's like when. Like, when would those even come out? So, um, yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's like, I probably won't do them, but I really would like to. There's so many, like, two months, just in general, there's so many videos I want to do, it's just I don't have time to do them, um, within the time frame that I want to. I mean, like, obviously right now I'm only doing two videos, a, I'm, I'm doing two videos a week. And to be honest, I'm doing two videos a week so I can do videos like this, like that I want to be doing. But the problem is there's just too many of those videos. And, like, to be honest, there's just other videos that take a bigger priority because there's other videos that have more potential to do well in the grand scheme of things as well. So it's like, that's another thing that I have to factor in. So obviously, like, these similar type of video ideas, but for um, Survivor Big Brother topics, are going to take priority over that for, like, video game topics. Damn, my like throat got really fucked there for a second. Um, so yeah, I mean that's and that's really what it is at the end of the day. It's like because like to me, like there's like similar sort of topics I do for like Survivor Big Brother. I'm more willing to do because those are um, really what a lot of my base is around. Um, so like other things like predicting Jeff Probst's winner rankings, predicting Jeff Probst's season rankings. Like those are fun videos I wanted to do. And I'm more willing to do those for those, um, for Survivor and Big Brother topics, but it's like, when it comes to, like, Assassin's Creed and, like, and really most other things, it's like, Power Rangers, stuff like that, it's like, it's just, it's not worth it at this point. Um, like, to be honest, even if I was doing three videos a week, like, I've talked about this, like, if I were to go full-time with the channel, like, I would do three videos a week, but even then, like, the third video wouldn't be another one of the video game or, um, or TV, like, scripted TV videos, like, it would be adding another reality TV video to the schedule. Um, probably, probably more be like, it would probably be, like, a player, like, a season-based player ranking every week, or, or, like, something smaller. Like, it would be a smaller video, like, it wouldn't be a big video, because, like, I'm already doing pretty much two at minimum 25 minute videos a week usually like like the videos that i do especially at this point are very long <laughs> um so um that's kind of the way it has the b uh yeah even if i were to do a third one it would probably be if not a short video then at least one that has very little um very little editing involved. So again, like a player ranking, um, like a seasonal, uh, like a season-based player ranking. Like I, I've talked about this before. I want to uh, retrospectively, a uh, retroactively, retrospectively, retroactively do uh, similar sort of player rankings for the seasons I didn't do player rankings of that I have covered on the channel. Okay, how did I miss that? Like. Okay, I'm, I guess I was like a second too late or something. Like I hit it, but whatever. Like I can see how it was a little bit too late though. But that's annoying.
I kind of I, forgot about Tony Hawk. I just I was just looking at the clicks for a second. I, I completely forgot about Tony Hawk one and two. And you play that at some point. Yeah, I'm really excited to get around to playing the games of 2020. Like, push, like obviously this is this thing that we have the sidetrack for first though. Means I want to play all these games before we play like a dragon. Um. It's obviously like the Yaksa series as a whole isn't a big priority right now, but I want to play Yaksa like a dragon. I'm not willing to play Yaksa like a dragon without first getting around to playing um, the other games in the series. Um, see. Yeah, I was kind of thinking through it though. I do think my Assassin's Creed series ranking has changed um, since I last did it. Not like majorly, it's probably like just one spot up, one spot down, that sort of thing. But I do feel like there are changes that I've made since I did my last list. Um, to be honest, I don't even remember if I can remember. Like, let's think, see if I can remember my last list. I believe it was Brotherhood. Origins, Black Flag, Revelations, was it Rogue? Oh, not Rogue, I'm Rogue. It was it 2, I mean? It was 2 number 5, and then Unity 6. Um, then, I guess AC 3. Um, then probably Syndicate. Then, then AC One. Then Rogue. Then Odyssey. I'm pretty sure that's the ranking. Um, so if I were to redo it now, I think I think the changes that'll be made. I think AC One is going up a lot. Um, yeah, I, I, my appreciation for AC One has definitely gone up in the last like year or so. I think it probably jumps up to the top of that. Like, it's not gonna jump up to the top, top. Like, for me, it's like, I still feel like gameplay-wise, um, in terms of, not gameplay-wise, I should say structure-wise, like, um, it's still kind of bland. At least the original console versions of the game. Um, fuck, I used the thing, thank you. Um, to where I, I would not feel right going for, um, like, putting it at the top of the top. But I do feel like it jumps. It might even jump beyond that. It might be middle tier. Probably above Unity. It's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think that jumps up. Um, I think... The top placements are tough. Because it's like, I feel like Origins... For me, my opinion of Origins as an Assassin's Creed game has gone down, but I still adore Origins for what it is. Um, like, as a game in the general scheme of games, like, I, I have uh, Origins in very high regard, but it's like, as an Assassin's Creed game, I, I feel like it's gone down. I think that's the tough thing with that. Black Flag... It's probably stayed about the, about the same. Two and uh, Revelations. I have Revel family Revelations and two. I think they're about the same. Doing this again. And then where's Valhalla land and all this? I would say Valhalla probably lands around where one is. I just don't know if it's above or below. I think it's below. Um... Um, 
So put it what seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven out of twelve. Um. Is it get too high in this? No, right. Yeah, I think this is about right. I think that's probably my list now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably Brotherhood. Again, it's tough between Origins and Black Flag. Because, I, again, I feel like Origins is a better paced game. Um, but Black Flag is obviously the better narrative, the better overall experience. I probably would go Black Flag, I guess. It's tough. Yeah, it gets really, really tough. Yeah, so I, I I guess it's Brotherhood Black Flag Origins Revelations Two One Valhalla Three No, um Unity Three Syndicate Rogue Odyssey. I think mm. that's the ranking. Um, I think that's the ranking, but if I were to redo this video, I would not be, the, it would not be nearly as in-depth as it was last time. Last time I went super fucking in-depth on each game. Like, I talked about each game for, I think, like, six minutes or something. Five minutes, five or six minutes, but I literally talked about, like, every, like, I talked about pretty much every aspect of the game without having actually gone through the narrative from beginning to end. Like, I went pretty in-depth with each game, so it's like, I do feel like, uh... If I were to redo this video, it would be a lot more streamlined. Oh, yay, patch got announced for tomorrow. Fucking 11 to 19 gigs? Well, that's something. Who's this? Oh. Hey, can we get like the, uh, the Wrath of the Druids fucking announcement, please? To be honest, I mean, maybe Revelations jumps up a bit. Revelation Jitsu
分かった案内してくれ先日このビルを丸ごと買い取った最近は月見のも不景気だな物件転がさなくなって困った連中が駆け込んできやがる<笑>参ったもんだよ俺らもそんなに金持ってねえってのによそんで俺に伝えたかったことっちゅうのはないそれが真島が言い残した言葉が関係してるんかうんそうだあの、俺、ちょっと外を見張ってます。本当にここが安全かどうか信用できませんし。聞いてた話じゃもっと荒々しい男が来るのかと思っていたがさすがあの真島の兄弟分ってことか真島に似て中身は繊細な男のようだそう言われたのは初めてやなふん<笑>うちらの業界の連中も不思穴ばっかりになってしまったってことだいどいつもこいつも見た目ばかりで人間を判断するだから下手打つんだところであった兄弟分を殺されたにしちゃあんまり怒ってないようだな兄弟が誰かにやられたとしてそれは兄弟が弱かった言うだけのこと強いもんに弱いもんが負けたそんなら俺の出る幕やないなるほどせやけど兄弟がなんで殺されなあかんかったんか兄弟は最後なんて言うて死んでいったんかそれだけは聞いとかなあかん。あんたやったらその答え知っとるんやろ。俺がおめえに伝えたかったことってのはな、俺と真島が会合をしたあの日、あの場で本当は何が起こっていたのか、その真実についてだ。真実やと聞かせてもらおうか。ああ。まず最初に結論から言おう。北方組はマジマをやってない。俺にはマジマを撃つ理由がないんだ。どういう意味言葉通りの意味だ。それ以上の意味はない。マジマは北方組を登場会の参加に収めようと話しつけに来てたはずや。ならあんたがマジマを弾く理由は十分にあるはずやろ。それでも撃つ理由がないと言い張るんか。だからそれが誤解なんだ。そもそも真島は登場会の参加に入れと言ってきたんじゃない。何やとゴブサカズキをかわしてほしいと頭を下げに来たんだ。つまり、俺に道島大吾の兄弟分になってくれと言ってきた。北方組が登場会とゴブやて。なあ、そしておそらくうちだけじゃねえ。福岡や名古屋にも。同じ条件でなしつけに行ってたはずだうちとしても五分なら依存はねえ登場会と手を組みやうちに余計なちょっかいかけてくる組織もなくなるだろうしなあんたは逆付き受けるつもりやった言うんかそういうことだだから俺が真島を殺す理由はねえ誰がマジマ殺したい It's weird too that I never actually finished. Like, I never 100%ed Pahala. It's the first Assassin's Creed game that I've never experienced everything the game has experienced. Like, I haven't gotten Excalibur, I haven't gotten really any of the pieces of Eden.、Um, so it's kind of just weird, actually. Now I think about it. Because, like, literally every other Assassin's Creed game I've done, I mean, even games I've never technically 100%ed, as in, like, done all the, like, 100%ed the synchronization bar. Um, in 
games like uh, AC3, AC Unity. It's like I've still done everything that there was to, that's important to do. Same thing with Syndicate. Um, like I've done, like, I've gotten the armor, I did all the scavenger hunt things, I did all that stuff. But, like, I didn't fucking do it for Valhalla yet. Too much, I don't know if I ever will. It just takes too much time, I don't fucking have the time for it. ま、So, um... How do you jump? Oh, it is X, okay. It's not working really. It's like next to the Four Pillars podcast. So you'll probably listen to that at some point. そうです。俺があの刑務所に移送されたことも、あなたと同部屋になったことも全部計画されていたことなんですよ。全部芝居やった。ちゅうことか。そうです。あなたはすべてこちらの読み通りに動いてくれた。こっちが戸惑う方にね。でも正直言って。あなただけにはバレたくなかった。ババちゃん。こんなことになるんなら。あの時雪山で死んどきゃよかった。そしたら<笑> 
こんな思いしなくて済んだのに何アホなこと言うとるんや俺の役目はあなたの監視そのために刑務所に入ったんですほら殺人で10年食らってたっちゅう話も当然作り話ですよそういうエピソードの方が西島さんの関心が引けると思いましたねなんでそこまでして俺を監視する必要があったんや俺が脱獄するとでも思ってたんかいや違いますむしろその逆です逆俺の目的はあなたのケーキをコントロールすることつまり都合のいいタイミングであの刑務所からあなたを連れ出しここ月見のまで連れてくることになったんです<笑> like, me, like, I just don't care about this case <笑> I literally just couldn't give a shit about anything that's going on right now. I know Game of Jonia, Anata no Karishu Show, Jamasuri Ningen Gaita Hasa Jamasuri Yatsiati Asaka Kugihara Desio Aitsua Anata no Karishak Ho, Enki Saser Tamen of Dogetish Aitsua or no Puka. What? Don't care. So, I knew another one. I said, Oh, no, that's a hit. You got that. So, the cookie had out, Scott, the another color and vocal surreal and she look at on this. So, she said, Oh, my God, mommy, the hit of such that you are not you can move. So, are you a home to new or ever such on this? You're not a cock. She's in it. Could you have a touch in it? Tell us, you know. そうするしかなかったのね。お前。ですが、そこまでやったところで今度は逆にあなたを外に連れ出さなきゃならなくなった。だから外の力を使って無理やりあの脱獄騒ぎを仕掛けたというわけです。どういうこと？ちゃんと説明せ。マジマゴロウの死ですよそれが俺たちにとってあなたをあの刑務所から連れ出すためのサインだったんですあなたを刑務所の外に出すためにマジマは殺されたんですよマジマが死んであなたが動くそれが我々の書いたシナリオです To us, I don't care. <laughs> like, I really don't.、Uh, but I'm assuming this is the end of his story. Thank fucking God. I don't know how much time I can do this. I don't know how much time I can do this. I don't know how much time I can do this. I don't know how much time I can do this. Yeah, I did also see that. I was looking at the percentages on the chapters because, like, the trophies are all in order and stuff. So, like, you can see like what percentage of people finish each chapter. It's funny that. So, um, seventy-two percent, I think, finish the Kido chapter, which that's like to be expected. The opening chapter of the game, opening like five, six hours of the game. Um, yeah, that's to be expected. Um, but then there's like a nine percent drop off between this, between that chapter and this chapter, and then every chapter after this is only three percent. So it's kind of funny. How, like, I'm sure a lot of other people hated Sejima's shit too. Scenario, there was not a plan to kill you here. Was it? こうなってしまった以上いたしかとない俺かお前のどっちかが死ななあかんちゅうことやな野
らいして撃てさっさと撃たんかい何しとんのよババちゃんほらはよさ。兄弟を見捨てられるわけないそれだけ兄弟そんな探す気を交わしたわけでもない俺が勝手にそう呼んでただけなのにそれでもあんたは俺のこと兄弟だっていうのか<笑>当たり前やろ杯かずきかわすやなんてただの儀式にすぎ人と人の絆っちゅうもんさかずきなんかかわさんでも自然にできるもんやちゃうかバカちゃん俺はお前のことをずっと弟分やもとったでや,やめろ裏に何があったかどうでもええ俺にとってお前はほんまの兄弟もうやめてくれファーズシンズコンオフソーアンナニシトンジャポギアダディアババちゃん兄貴分としてお前には教えとかなあかんことがあるようやな何ですか人間どんなに釣ろうても生きなあかん釣ろうても夢持って生きなあかんのや夢ああきっとお前にもあるはずや手に入れたい叶えたい夢が俺は網走に入る前チコタンや極道の世界に足踏み入れるしかなかった人間が二度と俺みたいな悲しい道を生きんでもええようにするそれが俺とマジマが描いた夢俺が今ここにおる理由や<笑>ババちゃん都合よう死ねるほど世の中あまないお前には死ぬっちゅうことがどういうことか教えたるどうする気ですか簡単や一変死ぬほどの恐怖をその体に叩き込んだるわなるほど西島さんらしいやり方ですねああ不満か<笑>きちんとケリー So we'll fight with him, I'm assuming. <laughs> Looks bizarre like that, though, doesn't he? Yeah, we're gonna end here, though. Uh, next episode, we'll continue on and probably finish Sage Ma's story, but for now, thank you for watching.